What's going on, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Sometimes, as parents, you look back on your life and you think, what if I did things differently, huh? What if I had a dream and I gave it up for my kids? A lot of these parents can't let that go. Thus, pageanting was created. An entire system and event that was created so parents and overweight mothers can... <laughs> can put their children through hell to live their own fantasies and dreams through their little girls. It's about being beautiful. It's about... being beautiful. I disagree with pageanting on so many levels. Um, I just feel that kids should not be put through that and be taught that beauty is everything. I mean, I had to learn at a young age that because I'm so beautiful that I shouldn't, you know, let that get to my head. And sometimes I have to remind myself that, Daz, you may be beautiful, but don't brag about it. You guys have been sending me this video for a long time now, and, I, and I've and i kind of ignored it because I get angry at these videos. It's called The Worst Toddler and Parent Tantrums Ever. It's from a show called Toddlers and Tiaras. I remember seeing an episode of this on TV and feeling my balls wanting to explode with pure rage. Let's watch the video! Are you beautiful? Yes, I am beautiful. That didn't sound very confident, did it? It sounded very forced. <laughs> Did that- where, are they holding, like, her younger sister or brother, like, hostage or something? Cameraman's holding up a photo of them, like, We have your brother. Say you're beautiful. Yes, I am beautiful! Why did she say it like that in pure fear? I mean, I don't sound like that when I'm saying that to myself. I'm in the mirror going, You! You! You're beautiful. God, you're beautiful. And you called me up. You said I was- you thought I was beautiful, and I'm always beautiful. Who said what about that? You said, you said. Camera lady's like, what? What? You steady bitch? What? Are you beautiful? And I said, I'm all, and I was almost going to say, she's, she's thinking I'm not beautiful. And I am always beautiful. It just goes to show, doesn't it, that um, she's been taught that beauty is all that matters. Like, there's these pads. I mean, look at her. First of all, she looks like a wasp's nest. Second of all, kids that young aren't meant to wear all those products and stuff and look like they're fucking Dolly Parton in her 20s. Hey, hey, <laughs> Only at a pageant. <laughs> Only at a- <laughs> I can't say it. Only at a pageant is it legal to chase a minor with a camera and them screaming, get away from me. <laughs> You do that at a play park, a mall, anywhere other than a pageant, your ass is going to prison. She needs to prepare for the stage, y'all. She's, 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 she's getting a little tired. She's getting a little frustrated. She Look at you, Melissa! Like a skunk that fell in paint. I'm sorry, I just... Her daughter is clearly distressed. She doesn't like big camera crews in her face. The stress that these kids go through, and you just look at the mums and you just know. You just know they're forcing their kids to do this, and it's for them. Their kids don't want this. She's kind of got some little stimulation going on, and that's understandable. She needs time to breathe. She has to have herself mentally prepared to go on stage. You guys out. Just give me one minute. She's trying to get out of the building. She don't want one minute. She wants to go home and play with Barbies or some shit. When anyone's pressing like this on an elevator button, Means they want to leave. <laughs> God, wow. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> when someone keeps photo bombing you. <laughs> See that kid walk past the camera. Then what was that walk? <laughs> that's that's that run you do to the car when you can't find your car in the car park. <laughs> Where'd I put it? Wait, it's over here somewhere. Oh, where did I put my car? <laughs> That's what it was. We have to practice or we can't be in the practice room because when you're in the practice room, you have to practice. Sorry, what's the practice room for again? Well, we have to practice or we can't be in the practice room because when you're in the practice room, you have to practice. When you're in the practice room, like, sorry, I don't understand. What do you do? We have to practice or we can't be in the practice room because when you're in the practice room, you have to practice. You're saying we have to practice. <laughs> do you want to practice or go outside where the babies go? It's such a threat, isn't it? Do you want to go outside or be a baby? Like, that's kind of manipulative, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, take her out in the lobby and talk. Okay. I just don't want her to think that she can yeah. sit in here and do that. Sit in here and do what? Be a person? She wasn't doing anything! Why are you being like this? What? Four?! She's four! 
Cambry doesn't let the girls, you know, get away with stuff. Like, she holds- I love that all these, like, kids are being told they have to mentally prepare for their performance. You know, you're about to go on stage and this is what they're doing. Cambry doesn't let the girls, you know, get away with stuff. Like, she- Oh, by the way, my new tour is just me doing this for an hour. even dance that's just shit uh tickets are on sale guys for my new tour by the way uh, uh you, you can go in the description below nearly sold out yeah so i would just go put her in time out and walk away from her and if she cries then she cries what's she done you are in big trouble for being a four-year-old how dare you you need to come in here and you're gonna sit <laughs> It's so hard, like, watching the kids be punished for just not wanting to do something. Kind of in, like, that three-nager stage right now, like... Three-nager? What the hell's that? That's not an age! God, it's happening, isn't it? You could be any gender you want now. Now, you could be any age you want. Screw it, I'm 18. <laughs> three-nager? Is that, a, like, a three-year-old and a teenager thrown together? That makes no sense. That makes no sense, woman sitting on what looks like a Swedish flag bag. But I think when it comes down to it, like- How to- how to stop your kids from being upset? Step one, cover their mouth and restrict the breathing. But I think when it comes down- Step two, have a weird suspicious lump on your back. That's probably a microphone pack, to be fair. They're all wired up. Loves to be on that stage, so- I trust Cambry. I see how her girls are successful, so she's gonna do great. She's again, I do great. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she really likes uh, being on stage. Look at how much she loves being here. Sorry, time out, time out, time out. Time love being here. You love it. Stay in the room. You love it. You know you love it. Mummy's little princess. <laughs> this is not parenting. Right back. Sorry. Holy God damn it, Jesus Christ. Mummy loves you, I'll be right back. When you have to push your child into a room and say you love them, mixed messages on behalf of the child. Can someone let me know in three minutes? Buy a watch! This thing with these mums, they think everyone's their staff. Because I don't have a watch, can someone let me know how long I have to keep my daughter locked in a room she doesn't want to be in? Stupid bitch. Christ, do you remember that scene from It? You know, when all the fingers are coming around the doors. That's what I'm seeing here. This kid does not want to be here or a part of this event. I'm sorry. She doesn't give a toss about being beautiful. Do you know why? She just came out of your womb. I don't know anything okay, about me, but you're about to know. I'll no, tell you one thing, no, You need to back off. No, you guys need you to back, need to back off. off. No, no one needs to back off. Someone needs to explain the GOAT! Why is there a man holding a goat? Women are arguing and no one's questioning the goat. Why is there a goat? Are they going to sacrifice it to Lord Imhotep? My daughter will win. Ah! <laughs> Imagine if someone just popped up with like a, a rare species in their hands when you're arguing. Oh my god, your child is fat and ugly, okay? I saw her eating six cakes of matador, okay? E numbers, bitch! E numbers, bitch! That's enough! Is, is that a tiger? Yes, yes it is. Y you call that being funny or something? Oh, I don't know, Trisha. Is that weight loss? Oh my god, I have a thyroid deficiency. <laughs> We're all in our 40s. The fighting outside is going to solve anything, except for someone going to jail. Blink! Like that. She's like that. You know? She looks like an air hostess, you know? You know those air hostesses that just look constantly happy? <laughs> You're trying to sleep on a plane, and they crop up thinking you're hungry and you don't want to eat the airplane food. They're like... I'm trying to walk away from the situation like 10 times I walk away from this and 10 times one of those ass comes back. Someone sacrificed Belle from Beauty and the Beast. That she's gone. Where's she gone? Why'd you steal that from Belle? Hey, don't think that I'm not manly because I know all the princesses dresses from Disney, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, uh, really? Last time I saw you were in charge of nothing. <laughs> Whilst they're trying to force their daughter to be a princess, their dad is trying to force himself to be a shark. What is that? What is that? Tell me what that is. That's not even a mohawk. That is just up. Man be looking like Poe from the Teletubbies. 
There's so many jokes I can make about this man's hair. And he's still holding a goat. Nothing, bitch. You do not say that about people. What is wrong with you? You can say whatever he wants to say. She still hasn't blinked. Does she have eyelids? She's like a goldfish. He doesn't know what a true gentleman is. And Alessandra, honey, 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 these little ass here would like to see a Cinderella story. So can you pick up so that these butt can feel better about their life? No, 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 no. I'll help you. She I'll help you child. pick it up. God, these mums are, lo they're not mums, are they? So first of all, you've dressed up your daughter like a Billard duck. And the second, <laughs> now you're going to make her pick up the goat shit. Why is there a goat? Why is there a goat? Has anyone, why is there a goat at a pageant? Introducing Alessandra the goat. Ah! <laughs> Here, they'll be happy to pick up. We live on a farm, lady. Don't start and there won't be any. Why, why did she have to pick it up though? Like, did she bring the goat? Did she bring the goat? Is this pageanting? Is this a pageant? I don't know what a pageant is anymore. If no one wants to pick up goat crap, that's a tongue twister. Don't bring a goat. There's a solution for you right there. You Maybe you didn't look in the off. mirror, honey, but your ass isn't any smaller than mine. But then again, her camel toe was much larger than anybody's. <laughs> Girl. Has a crown on her head because she is definitely the little princess. I need to be in picture to you can take your fancy clothes. What was that? Sounded like Gollum with a sore throat. I'm not stripping patterns. So, <laughs> so the nasty hobbits don't take my crown. <laughs> don't know what pageants are anymore i thought i thought i knew what did i want to actually see a performance and what they're all going through I'm, I'm, i want to see why they go through all of this and what the final result is oh my god is that a child it's so wrong it's so wrong she has to nail this one has to nail this one or mama's locking her in the basement Next contestant is number 36, Kylie Joe. All right, we're now going to see why they go through so much. You got this, girl. Smile. Sparkle, baby. But the pre All that, all that for this. <laughs> it looks like one of Beyonce's backup dancers in Single Ladies forgot what they were doing. Oh, Single ladies, put your hands up! Shit, shit. <laughs> I'm against pageanting. I think it's wrong. I think the whole... I mean, if, if it was like a dancing competition or they were competing somehow, like athletics or... Great, fine. It's, it's good to be competitive. It's good to keep fit. It's good to have a skill that could help you flourish in the future. But just competing to who can, who can look like the biggest tangerine it's it's not it's not good guys thank you so much for sending me this video um uh, i feel that um this is a topic that i wanted to talk about anyway as i hate it the merch i just realized i'm dual merching today as i said as well i got a tour coming up i got my first show in london in november tickets are almost sold out but there's some left the link in the description below guys and i will see you in the next video stay dazzling <laughs> Your time is up.